Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to bring you along as I prepare for a horse show and I'm going to take you with me to the horse show. So this horse show is just a regular 4-H horse show. I go to it every year and it's always a lot of fun. I'm going to be taking my quarter horse mare, Selena. So today we're gonna be like packing and getting the trailer ready. I'm also gonna be giving Selena a bath. So I already have pretty much all of my tack packed in the trailer from going to the clinics, but there are a few more things that I need to grab. I need the fly spray. I need some horse treats. This thing is full of them. I don't think I'm gonna bring the whole thing, so I need to come up with something else to store them in. And I also need to find a throat latch from somewhere to put on the bridle. I'm hoping I can find something. Okay, I just found some of these rubber bands. I'm gonna need these for her, but I cannot find a throat latch, and I know I have at least two. Nope, can't find one. Aha, found one. I found one. It is very old, but hopefully it works. So the next thing I need to do is I need to fill up a hay bag for her. Yes, the trailer's all the way down here. Okay, I got that all loaded. I'm honestly ready to start giving Selena a bath because it is so hot outside and if any of you guys have ever bathed a horse before, I'm sure you know that you get washed just as much as the horse does. Okay, well now I can't find my sponge for washing horses. We might just need to try and figure out how to do it without it. I guess I'm gonna go grab Selena. We're gonna go work on the showmanship pattern and then I'll give her a bath. Okay, well there isn't anywhere for me to set up the camera, so I guess I'll see you guys after we work on this for a little bit. Well, she is really enjoying this so far, so that's good. So this side is done. I did some extra scrubbing on her little white spot over her hoof and it looks a lot cleaner. I did her mane. I don't think I'm gonna do her face just because she really does not like me getting her face wet. So I'm going to do the other side now and her tail. Okay, well I think she really enjoyed that. I'm gonna go over her mane with some cowboy magic quick and then she'll be done. I think we all know that the first thing she's gonna do after I turn her back out is that she's going to roll. Okay, I'm very scared to see what she does. Is that all we're doing? Okay, it is getting very late, but you might have noticed that I did not band or trim Selena's mane or anything like that. I personally don't do that because I'm not chopping off all of Selena's beautiful hair just for one 4-H show once a year. So my plan is to do a running braid in her mane and just a regular braid in her tail tomorrow morning at the show. Last year I did it the night before, but it all fell out. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. I will see you guys bright and early. Okay guys, good morning. It is about 6 40 i woke up at 5 45 i got ready this isn't exactly what i'm gonna wear for the show but i don't want to get my shirt or anything dirty while dealing with selena at first so i think we're about to load up and then we're gonna head to the fairgrounds i slept really well last night and i had no nerves so that is really good i think it's probably because i'm putting less pressure on myself this year i'm just showing for fun and selena is already right at the gate which is very helpful really she's leaving now <sighs> Hopefully she gets a drink of water before she goes. 
Okay, I'm going out to grab her now. Hi, I got the dogs. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Selena. Let's get you some fly spray. Those flies are horrible. The princess is all loaded. Okay, we have arrived. Hello. You ready, girl? Okay, I got her forelock done and I brushed through her tail. Okay, I just registered her in all the classes. Now I'm going to braid her mane and tail. I got the braid in her mane. It's not perfect, but I think it looks really good. This is so annoying. Okay, so we are getting ready to go into our first class, which is the halter class. In this class, the judge basically judges the horse based on their build and how well they're put together and groomed for the show. And we got last place out of eight girls on this one. But then it was time to get ready for our next class, which was the showmanship class. This is another class where you lead the horse and you take them through a course that you have memorized and you're judged based off of how well you and your horse complete that course together. So I think she did pretty good on this one, but she needed to back up a lot. All the way from the cone we're at to the next one back. And backing is not her strong suit. She gets pretty lazy when it comes to backing. So eventually I got her backed up enough and then she was basically on top of the cone, which was not ideal. I had to turn her around while she was like on top of it. And in this one, we got fourth place out of six girls. Okay, I came in here because they're playing music and everything outside and it's really loud. So I finished my two in-hand classes where I'm leading her. And the first one we got last, which is totally okay because they're judging based on build and stuff. So I was kind of expecting that. I was not upset about that at all. In showmanship, she did not want to back up. It was a little bit embarrassing. She's always been really bad at backing up. Sometimes she'll really do it and sometimes she won't. So she's really worked up outside of the arena. Like she's just antsy, not wanting to stand still. I think she's just really overwhelmed with the area right now. But once we're in the ring, she will not wake up and she does not want to move. So it's a little difficult in the arena, but I know once I get on, all she'll want to do is run. So I'm hoping we can have some fun during the speed classes. For showmanship, we got fourth place out of like six which I think was pretty good. So now we are warming up to start the riding classes. The first one I did was the walk trot class. It's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just walk, trot, stop, back when the judge tells you to. And we got last place in this one again. So now we're in the next class, it's called Discipline Rail. It's basically like Simon Says, but on horses. And the judge had us lope without our stirrups. It was so much fun. And I won fifth place in this class. After that, I could definitely tell that there was a storm rolling in, but we are gonna keep going and hope we didn't get rained on. So now we're finally starting on the games. This class is Egg and Spoon. We lost right away. She's got a really bouncy trot. And then they announced that that was the last class of the day because they saw lightning. So that was a bummer. So right after that, it started pouring down rain so we had to load up really fast and get all of the poop scooped into the trailer while it was pouring okay so all of the games like the barrel races and everything got canceled which is what I was most excited for my saddle is soaked and so is the horse and so am i <laughs> okay so i think we're gonna head home now because this is not good weather so yeah that was fun okay we're back and we're trying to build up the confidence to go outside in the rain and unload because we don't want to it's pouring out 
We should just do it. So although the day did not end how I intended it to, it was still a lot of fun. And I know we did not place anything, but I was still really proud of how Selena and I did. I've learned not to judge how good of a rider I am based off of the ribbons that I win. I've never really been into the competitive side of the equestrian world. I've always just wanted to spend time with my horses and help horses out. My lifelong goal when it comes to horses is to train them. So although showing is a good thing to have experience in, it's not something that I'm really focused on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.